Today we'll be making this juicy chicken satay you can see on the screen. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. Do not go away. Take a minute to watch. If you like what you see, do consider clicking the red subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so when next I post a video, you get notified and you come watch it. And to my returning subscribers, you guys are amazing. You guys rock. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video. I appreciate you all. Thank you for always being there for me. So now, let's get right into making this together so to start with i'm using kebab strips but first of all i'll have to soak this in water for about 30 to 40 minutes so that it doesn't um, get burnt while it's grilling I'll just soak it in water and set it aside. So anytime you're using kebab stick for grilling, you need to always soak it in water. Set it aside for 30 to 40 minutes so that it doesn't get burnt during and while it's grilling. This recipe is actually a very simple and straightforward recipe that I always enjoy making for my family. So in this in this bowl. Here I have about 800 grams of chicken breast already cut out, you can see, into flat strips. To the chicken breast, I'm going to add some seasoning which I have measured out. In the description below, I'll write out the quantity and the ingredients in case you need to try it out. And when you do try it out, please let me know. Do come back to me and let me know what you think and how it came out for you. In here, I have my garlic powder ginger powder, my cumin, coriander, and turmeric measured out. So I'm pouring it into the bowl. Next, we are adding our liquid. In here, I have my fish sauce, light soy sauce, and oil. This will go into the bowl as well. If you are used to using light soy sauce and fish sauce, you know the light soy sauce is like our salt and the fish sauce is like our seasoning cube. So you don't need to add salt or seasoning cube to this. And to this, I'm also going to add my, I like to put a bit of peanuts. Although we are still going to make the peanut sauce and onion powder. I blended that together. But before I add that to it, I want to stir all the other ingredients together. Try to mix them all up. Okay, that is ready. Next, I'm going to add up the peanuts. So that goes all in and of course our coconut milk so that is like almost ready what we are going to do is stir it together make sure it's properly mixed and we are going to set it aside for like 30 minutes our clean film set aside for 30 minutes like I said earlier, this recipe is quite simple and straightforward. So that is done. I'll set aside for 30 minutes and then we'll make the peanut sauce together. Okay guys, so to make our peanut sauce, obviously, we have to use peanuts. So I have in here two cups of peanuts, roasted peanuts. That's what we need to use for this recipe. And then our dry ingredients, sugar, coriander, chili pepper. In here I have sesame oil, fish sauce, and dark soy sauce, which is our salt and seasoning, right? And then, of course, our liquid, coconut milk. So I put all of this into the blender, blend, and then we're going to cook in under very low heat for about five minutes, and then it's ready. So, Let's blend.
peanuts our dry ingredients soy sauce free sauce and our coconut milk so we'll blend all of that now So guys, I've finished blending. We're going to transfer it to the cooker and I'll cook for like a few minutes. Five minutes on that low heat. Yeah, the ch uh, chicken satay sauce, I just cooked for five minutes on very low heat and I kept stirring so that it doesn't get burnt. At this point, it is ready and the chicken has been, the chicken breast has been marinated for like over 30 minutes now. So we're not going to move over to finish off the chicken satay by sticking it. Just pick up each piece of the chicken and put my kebab stick through. And then I'll drop on here as you can see. So guys, this is ready to go into the oven. I'm going to be grilling in the oven for about 40, 40 to 45 minutes in 180 Celsius. Why I'll be grilling for very long is because I like my chicken to be very, very dry. I don't, I don't like it medium or medium rare or so. I like it like very, very dry. So I'm going to leave it in the oven. But while in the oven, I'll keep checking. I'll show you guys. I'll keep checking to turn it around to ensure that both sides is well both sides of it is well cooked and then I'll bask but I'll show you guys as I do when I do that. You can see it's coming out nicely. It's coming out nicely. I'll just turn it over. I'm going to turn every other one over. I'm going to turn everything over and then put it back in the oven again. Hey guys, this looks ready. So, I'm just going to plate and show you guys. It's ready. Chicken satay and the sauce is served. Enjoy. Thank you so much guys for watching to this point. Love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.